Good evening everyone, time for Bitcoin Volume 3. I wanted to jump in and cover the miners because it's something I just figured out recently. When I downloaded and installed the Bitcoin client, I thought that this was mining for me or something with these blocks down here and connections. This is actually just verifying the two coins I have here that uh, Da Vinci and another viewer sent me. So this isn't how you actually mine coins. So I'm going to take you to a site that has a client that you can download. It's called GUI Miner and you just click on the link and save the file and it's gonna scan it and be done here in a second. You save it to your desktop and you go to your desktop you just double click this file and run it it'll extract the files and you'll get a folder called GUI Miner. Once you go in there you'll have a icon here called GUI Miner. You'll double click that to install the software. Now I already have it installed and once the software is installed you have the ability to select different servers that are Bitcoin mining pools. So to access those you're gonna to have to go and sign up with them. Now I initially signed up with DeepBit but they've been having some problems and so I went ahead and signed up with BTC Guild and I'll show you that site. You just go to BTC Guild and you're gonna to have to go and sign up a login I will sign out and show you so if I log out you just go to create account and then you will have a chance to well it's not showing me the screens because I'm already signed up but you'll register an account you'll get a username and password and then once you're in there Actually, I'm already there, so I'll just log in. Once you're there, you're going to put in your wallet address. And there's some other verification things you have to do. Once you sign up, you'll put your email in, and then it will send it to you, and you have to authenticate. So you go to your Bitcoin client, and you can see this address up here, my Bitcoin address. Now, you can generate... If you click this button, copy to clipboard, it'll copy that address, and that's what we're going to do. But if I click new, it will generate a new address, and that's a question I have, and some maybe some of the Bitcoin experts can explain to me. I can generate any number of addresses, and it changes each time, but are the past ones valid? I don't know. So I'm going to leave it at this address, and you just copy it to clipboard, and then you go to your wallet and you put in that address. Once that's in there then this guild knows that your Bitcoin address is at that location and then they can send you your Bitcoins once you generate them. So I've run a little bit today. You can see I have unconfirmed rewards and uh, estimated rewards. This one is different than DeepBit. DeepBit takes like 3%. This one actually has a percentage you can set and you can see the guy's unhappy because I'm at 0%. So it's uh, your choice. You can pick either one. Uh, I, the reason I went to BTC Guild is because, the, the, like I said, DeepBit's been having problems. So now that you've got your software installed, all you have to do is click Start Mining. Now, you have to have an this this miner is a GUI miner and what that means is it's your graphics video card as opposed to your CPU and uh, I'm sorry GPU not G GUI 
so it uses your graphics processing versus your central processing. Now with mine, this is a Sony Vio. It has a GeForce GT 330M 1 gig onboard video card. Actually, when I first did this, I didn't have what's called any OpenCL devices, and it uses OpenCL. So I actually had to go to NVIDIA and get the latest drivers for this GeForce card. Once I did that, then all of a sudden this device appeared in this window. So you may have similar problems. That's something you're just going to have to work out with the type of computer you have. Most of the people like DaVinci and the big serious miners are building machines with multiple graphics cards and they have uh, processors that have um, multi-threaded processors and so quad core etc so they can run multiple cards and uh, I assume I don't know but I assume you can probably run GUI miner and select multiple cards with mine it's just this GeForce 330M so all you have to do once you've got that you go back to the page and you have to actually add a miner and I don't see that link here but this is the name of the miner that I set up and that's the link that needs to go in there so you copy that and you paste it into this window and then whatever password you chose and then it should once you click start mining it should go and connect to that site that you selected in the drop down and here it is uh, BTC Guild so it's having a problem hooking up and I, I saw that before it eventually hooked up it says it's starting okay so now it's it's running the hashes and you can see it's running 10.0 mega hashes that's million hashes the really good GPUs run up in the hundreds so obviously minus just a little laptop GPU so it's not anything special now it has the shares accepted you can see since I've been running today I've completed 57 and there's one bogus one that missed so if you look on BTC Guild site I have unconfirmed rewards of 0 0.004 bitcoins and the estimated rewards are lower they have to go through and complete if I change my donation level to 2.5 percent then the sites willing to confirm my unconfirmed rewards and this would be the same number so eventually you'll get a payout that you can send to yourself and your Bitcoin address and that's how you collect your bitcoins from this mining operation so the question remains is it profitable to mine these probably not you can hear my fan kicked in because I'm running it and I'm mining so kicks up your fan because your video card is working full steam and you can run other things while you're doing this but it's really going to be a big tax on your system so what you're basically doing is pooling your resources with a whole bunch of other miners and sharing your processor with this site and I think if I remember the last video I saw from DaVinci, he was talking about setting up something like this and having 0% but then making money on the transactions somehow. So that's BTC Guild and that's one of the sites you can use to mine. Like I said, the other one I had signed up was DeepBit and I did that for a little while. You can see I've generated 0 0.001 Bitcoins and so I'm just playing around with it now the other one that I had that I signed up for my donation link was Bitcoin Plus and if you go to Bitcoin Plus they have the ability to use your CPU through a I think it's a Java link so if you want to do that 
you can just go to this site and then you click start generating and it'll just start the calculations actually you need to click the start generating button so with this processor which is a pretty good processor it takes about an hour to generate 0.0000859 bitcoins now if we go into my account you can see since I've been playing with it the generated payouts are I've got 17 generated payouts and I think I had another laptop I hooked up and tried to run it basically went to my page and this is the one that I coordinated with my page for donations so if you go to the my page and just click the link for if you don't have any bitcoins you can still generate them that's the one that goes to Bitcoin Plus and then it just automatically starts generating for me also gives you a link where you can generate for yourself if you click on that then you can sign up your own account and generate coins for yourself so that's the idea behind mining now the miners are also the authenticators for the system so as you're mining you're also checking the other transactions in the system to make sure they're valid that apparently is what it means when it says 244 confirmations 421 confirmations it is a peer-to-peer -peer authentication system where all of the transactions are public records and all of the nodes in this network are checking because they have the entire database and they're verifying that these transactions are valid so that's what I found out about mining bitcoins and as you can see the chart for the prices has not really even pulled back significantly when we go to the daily we can see that it looks like Bitcoin prices are still in a breakout I'm still waiting for my Dwalla account which is has to be authenticated with my savings account so I have the ability to transfer funds to Dwalla and then using Dwalla I can transfer funds over to Mt. Gox which will give me the ability to buy and sell bitcoins which is let's go to that link here which is this Mt. Gox link and I have to log into that and once I'm into that you can see I have the ability to buy bitcoins with cash obviously I have no cash in my account I'm waiting on Dwalla to get that but you can see the spread here we've got ask at 19.69 dollars per bitcoin and 19.65 so that's not a bad spread really that's four cents so as the numbers go higher, people using bitcoins, you're going to see these spreads tighten. You're going to see more liquidity. And from what I've seen so far, I'm very encouraged. I'm going to follow up and do a little bit more philosophical explanation about what bitcoins are and why I think they're going to be a currency of the future. And we'll talk to you next time.